Well, I made a start on this Ravel uh, Jeep Rubicon, Wrangler Rubicon. I washed and cleaned up all the parts, a bit of scraping and uh, sanding to do to get some of the seams off. I've got the uh, muffler, exhaust and drivetrain parts, uh, roll bar, uh, wheel, wheel guards, uh, fender guards, <clears throat> uh, push bars and that all in black primer and the uh, chassis there in black primer. I haven't done the body or the interior tub yet. I'm going to do those in uh, probably white primer. And uh, I'm trying to decide what colors to use. I think I'm going to go with orange, this pumpkin orange on the body, and uh, probably the uh, tan, the uh, camel or the fawn beige on the interior. I was thinking of doing the seats in denim, but uh, maybe I'll leave that for another build. I don't think that would suit the uh, look I'm going for this time with the orange and tan. So uh, stay tuned for further updates. Well I'm back and I've got a little bit of progress done here. I've got the uh, drivetrain and uh, exterior parts of the Jeep done in the uh, Craftsmart Silver Gunmetal and uh, Vallejo Oily Steel. I guess three different shades of silver uh, over the black primer. I've got those done. And I've got the body of the Jeep and the interior tub and seats and dash done in Vallejo light gray primer. So a little bit of weathering on the drivetrain here, uh, starting with brick red, orange and yellow, and a small piece of foam sponge off of one of those foam paint brushes on a, on a little tweezer holder. I just stabbed those onto the uh, parts here over the black or over the, the uh, gunmetal. I do it over black and a, a really watery black wash over that will really make it pop. That just gives me some rusty weathering. I'll do some dirt weathering once I get it all together. But that's what I use there for um, my rusting technique. Well, I'm back and I've got the drivetrain uh, into the chassis here. Um, as you can see the transfer case I did up, you probably won't even see it with the uh, guard over it there once the body's on. But uh, the, it, everything just kind of pushes into place. There's no glue needed. The uh, front and rear drivetrain, there's a little hooks, hook in here. And then it just swings over and goes, and these uh, shock towers go into the holes there. I've, I've had to take my knife and just open those holes a little bit uh, so that the, uh, the, the, they'll move. Then these screws, I, just, I have this little screwdriver that came, I guess, with another kit um, to put the four screws in here, front and back. And then the, after opening those holes a bit, it actually does move the shock towers, we call them the piece of plastic on the rear axle, on the axles there. But the springs will move up and down a little bit. You can see it there. But uh, unfortunately, this will be hidden unless you look kind of underneath there. Anyways, uh, drivetrain is on. Uh, next, I guess, is the wheels and uh, painting the body and getting it ready for attachments. Well, I'm back, and it's been a few days. I just wanted to do a quick progress report on this uh, Jeep Wrangler build. I've got the um, pumpkin orange craft paint here. It's the Americana. It's uh, been airbrushed over the body and floor pan and door panels. Then I brushed this folk art camel over the seats and the uh, inserts and door panels and the dash. I did a golden brown just on the grab handles <clears throat> and the center of the steering wheel and uh, to me a black panel liner wash the air vents there and around the doors here I've done uh, gloss black um, gray Steinle res primer and silver on the uh, roll bars add some contrast and some interest I just got the uh, fender flares in uh, flat black I've just done a little bit of oily steel Vallejo oily steel with a small brush and dabbed it onto the uh, bolt heads there. Again, uh, the Steinle Res gray primer on the crossbar here for the roll bar. And I brush painted the uh, camel on the center console here and the door panels. Molotow chrome on the uh, buttons and latches and so forth. 
So uh, I got uh, Stanel Res Grey Primer on the snorkel here. Some uh, flat black on the back of the, I guess it's radiator, goes behind the grill. And uh, that's about it so far, I guess. I've got some other little pieces done here. The door latches in chrome, gas cap and some other latches in, in black. The mirror's just in uh, gloss black. The uh, tires are on, as we've seen before. I'm running out of room here. Just my lights quickly. <clears throat> I did a, a gold paint, just brushed some gold paint on the wheel rims and the uh, rest is chrome to push the uh, tires onto the rims. Got the chassis all running here. Of course, the, the metal bar on the axles there, it rolls. The uh, metal bar going into the, the wheels and tires is very, very tight. So what I had to do was I took a little bar clamp, I put it on there and um, a wooden uh, popsicle stick on each side just to keep from damaging the, the rims. And then I took this small dollar store bar clamp and clamped it over like that and then pumped this and tightened it and brought it together. Made sure it was lined up properly and then squeezed the, that squeezed the two wheels and tires onto the metal axle and squeezed them together. Um, that was, it took a lot of pressure to do that and uh, that worked out the best without bending or damaging anything. Uh, there's a few little items that need to be cleaned up. There's a couple of slots here on the back. Those two slots at the bottom there where the bumper would go on, on here. The uh, chassis fits into there. There's two pins. Um, where is it? On the chassis here. Yeah, these two, these pins have to go in the back of the... Uh, yeah, on the back of the body there. That just needs to be opened up a little bit so that they fit together <clears throat> and snap in. A little bit of cleanup and not too much else to do. Um, that's about it for now. I'll let the things dry. I've been sealed up with Future and uh, Mop and uh, totally option. LA totally awesome Mop and Shine. And uh, next comes uh, some assembly and some fine details. Stay tuned.